Hi, you are on the channel Facts About Around. Here we tell many interesting and amazing facts about our world. Like and subscribe to the channel and we begin. And today we will talk about fishes. There are more aquarium fish in this video. We will try to reveal some facts about them and may also affect the inhabitants of rivers, seas, and oceans. So let's go. Fact number one. Fish are social and cooperative entity. Giant moray eels and Red Sea coral groupers often hunt together. First, the groupers make gestures to ask the eels to join them on a hunt, a kind of fish sign language. Then, once out hunting, they adopt complementary roles. The eels can squeeze into crevices too small for the groupers, while the groupers are faster swimmers in open water. Working together, the pair has a better chance of catching something to eat. Other species of fish work together to hunt prey. Fish, such as groupers and coral trout, will send a visual signal to show other fish the location of a hidden prey. Together, they will catch prey at a higher rate than when hunting alone. Groupers don't just cooperate with other fish. They'll also invite octopuses to hunt. Fact number two. Fishes feel pleasure, not just pain. Fish have social interactions with each other and other species of fish. For instance, blue streak cleaner wrasses have a unique role in the ecosystem. The wrasses enter the gills and mouths of their hosts in order to remove and consume parasites. In some instances, their clients are fish that would otherwise consume them. As a result, the wrasses will often stroke their clients with their fins. Studies have demonstrated that being touched by cleaner fish is both enjoyable and beneficial to the client fish. It also alleviates stress, almost like a therapeutic massage. Fact number three. Why are tropical fish colorful? Tea is a matter of evolution. Tropical fish are colorful because they have to blend in with the colorful surroundings in order to protect themselves from predators. There are some complex evolutionary reasons for anyone interested. However, the easy explanation is that they have to protect themselves from predators by blending in with the vegetation down below. Some experts believe that colors are also a way of communication between fish. Contrary to what some people believe, tropical fish are not colorful because they want to be aesthetically pleasing. Fact number four. Fishes are smart and can learn. Fish will avoid situations that cause them pain. They will instead seek out experiences that have a reward. Fish can also learn how to utilize tools. For example, many fish utilize rocks to open bivalve shells, such as clams, oysters and mussels, for sustenance. The archerfish is particularly intelligent. With remarkable accuracy, archerfish can discharge powerful jets of water from their mouths that can knock down flying insects. They acquire this impressive ability by observing and mimicking other archerfish learning the appropriate volume based on the target's size. Fact number five. Goldfish change color depending on light levels. If your goldfish is kept in the dark at night, you may notice that its color appears faded when you switch the aquarium light on again in the morning. Also, goldfish kept outdoors with greater exposure to natural light are usually more colorful than goldfish that are kept indoors. Fact number six. Fish are flexible. Salmon and trout inhabit both freshwater and saltwater. These fish are born in freshwater, then migrate to the ocean where they become adults. They undergo significant physical changes and have specialized organs that are dedicated to both freshwater and saltwater. Fact number seven. Goldfish have a memory span of at least three months. Many people say that goldfish have a memory of just a few seconds, but this is a myth. Goldfish have a memory span of at least three months. 
fact number eight. Some fishes have warm-blooded traits. Some shark species, along with swordfishes and tuna, have the ability to keep their core temperatures higher than that of their surroundings. In most cases, only warm-blooded animals have the ability to do that. Fact number nine. Jellyfish, starfish, and crayfish aren't really fish. Even though fish is in their name, a jellyfish is classified as an invertebrate, a starfish is an echinoderm, and a crayfish is actually a crustacean. Though their names may suggest otherwise, cuttlefish, starfish, and jellyfish aren't actually fish. Generally speaking, fishes must have skulls, gills, and fins. Surprisingly, though, not all fishes have proper spines. Well, isn't that amazing? Fact number 10. Fish are vertebrate animals. A vertebrate animal is an animal with a spine and bones. However, you can find invertebrates in the sea too. For example, a jellyfish and starfish both have no spine. Fact number 11. Most fish don't have eyelids. Imagine swimming in the sea and not being able to blink. The only fish that can blink is a shark. Fact number 12. The earliest fishes didn't have jaws. This hindered them from obtaining food, so it benefited them that they were born in cold water. They also possessed slow metabolisms as a part of their adaptation to their environment. As a result, they didn't need to eat much. Instead of hunting, they scavenged dead or dying animals, or latched onto living ones and drank their blood for sustenance. Fact number 13. The zebrafish is one of the most frequently used model organisms for genetic and developmental studies. The zebrafish is perhaps one of the most frequently used model organisms for genetic and developmental studies. The zebrafish is known for its unique regenerative abilities and rapid embryonic development. The scientific name of zebrafish is Danio Ririo, and it belongs to the minnow family, Saprinidae. The fish got its common name from the presence of five uniform and pigmented horizontal stripes on the side of its body, which resemble the stripes of a zebra. Fact number 14. Fish are capable of deceit. Cleaner fish or pilot fish, which remove parasites from larger fish or aquatic animals, have been observed to work harder for their clients when other potential clients are watching. This improves their image and future client base. Fact number 15. Fish have exceptional sensory capabilities. Fish can detect movement in the water through a special row of sensory scales along their body called the lateral line. These sensory scales pick up low-frequency sound waves that vibrate through the water. Salmon are known as one of nature's best navigators due to their sensory capabilities. Salmon return to the same river, and sometimes even the same riverbed, in which they were born to spawn. They are guided by magnetic fields and their keen senses. It's believed the salmon, who can smell chemicals down to one part per million, can detect pheromones that are unique to their home stream. Fact number 15. Bet a fish named after warriors. That's right, your pet betta comes from a long line of ancient warriors, well, their name did, at least. The betta fish name originates from an ancient warrior clan known as the betta, but their naming history doesn't end there. Due to the growing popularity of fish fighting in Thailand in the mid-1800s, they later came to be known as Fighting Fish, a name that continues to follow them around today. Another name you might have seen floating about when it comes to these pretty little fishes? Placket. This is a Thai name which translates to biting fish, and often refers to a variety of betta with short fins. 
Unfortunately, the length of this video does not allow us to tell you even more facts, so subscribe to our channel to learn even more facts about our interesting world. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next video!